the way we communicate has evolved so much in just the last 100 years. We help to make our meetings with other people courteous by using such words as please. Once radio and eventually TV came into the picture, people had to adapt to this amazing new technology. That's part of our code. The code of the National Association of Broadcasters. It's almost like once we mastered a new communication method, it changed. The greatest advance in television since color television itself. We are progressing toward new horizons. And then, in the second half of the last century, things got really interesting. Let's travel into the future. Now imagine this. You're standing two or three feet behind a curtain on a large stage. You hear the rustling of the audience. People are settling in. You take a peek just to see who's watching, but you can barely see them because the lights are so bright, but you know it's a sold out crowd. Your heart starts to race, but you go over what you know about presenting. You take some deep breaths, take in the senses of the environment around you, practice in your mind the opening lines of your talk. You remind yourself, Make sure to make eye contact with someone in the audience for several seconds before looking at someone else. Look through the bright lights. Make human connections. Be authentic. You feel a bit of sweat on your forehead, but quickly dab it away. You hear the music swell, and the audience hushes, and the host steps out to introduce you. Please, let's have a big round of applause. It's brief, but you have a few seconds to get ready. You're up, the host says, ushering you onto the stage. You walk out. Look straight ahead, the clapping slows down. You draw a deep breath and... Hi, and thank you so You're on mute. Sorry, can you all hear me? Cool, thanks. Um, anyway, uh, thank you so much. Technology is amazing, and there are so many amazing platforms available to us today. But as all of this progresses, we have to find new ways to master it. Virtual presenting is a clear guide to producing, presenting, and broadcasting in a remote environment. We demonstrate how to effectively tell stories across the new media landscape, from webcasting and webinars to live streams and virtual events. Included are success stories and case studies from teachers, students, and professionals that help you turn this guide into best practices. Virtual presenting is a valuable resource for students studying media production and remote broadcasting, as well as professionals looking to become stronger communicators and visual presenters. All the activities of science lead us onward to better methods of doing things.